All right, time now for Consumer Confidential with KTLA 5's David Lazarus. David, we missed you yesterday. I was out reporting. I know, but we like when you're here. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Let's talk about recession. Some of those, that word is like tapering off a little. Maybe sort of, mm -hmm. kind of. I mean, it's getting a little ahead of the game. But look, for months now, economists and CEOs who have been surveyed regularly on this have been saying it looks like a recession is all but inevitable. Now, granted, many are saying it's going to be a mild recession, but that was the prediction. Recession definitely coming. Now, especially after January's huge jobs report in which about half a million new jobs were added by employers, many Wall Street economists are now rethinking their prognostications and lowering the odds of a recession. That's not to say we're not going there, but now it looks less inevitable and more like, well, maybe. That's due in large part to the labor market and the housing market remaining so strong. There's still some curveballs, make no mistake. Manufacturing is down. Con consumer spending is becoming a little more dodgy. But overall, it appears that the soft landing that the Federal Reserve has been targeting with its rate hikes maybe it is finally within reach, which is to say the economy slows down, but it doesn't collapse or crash, which would be a good thing. Granted, still a little bit early, but for right now, it sure looks like the Fed knew what it was doing for months now with all those rate hikes. Well, okay, for about the last month or so, you've been talking a lot about uh, layoffs in the tech sector, but uh, it looks like Apple seems to be immune from that. Apple is the one outlier here, and it's really a credit to their management more than anything else. I mean. The latest big tech company to announce layoffs is Yahoo, which says they're going to drop about 20% of their workforce. But after Amazon, Microsoft, and all the others have also laid off tens of thousands of people, Apple, nothing. Well, granted, it's, it's announced some hiring freezes, but it has not announced any mass layoffs whatsoever. How does it do that? Well, when you look back, Apple was much more conservative in hiring during the pandemic than the other big tech companies were. It did ramp up in terms of its uh, ability to have people doing stuff, but it didn't go on a hiring spree like the others did, so it has less to cut back on now. That's one thing. Also, according to tabulations from Bloomberg, Apple brings in more revenue per week worker than most of its tech peers, which means the workers that it have are generating money and means you don't need to lose them. The bottom line here is that Apple CEO Tim Cook runs a very tight ship while still bringing in the big profits that shareholders love. And if you're an investor in this company, that's a dream for you. Okay, let's talk about Adidas. They cut ties with Kanye West and his brand Yeezy, and you're saying it cost them. Oh, big time. Adidas has issued a warning to shareholders that they might be looking at a billion dollars in losses due to all that unwanted Yeezy merch, clothes, shoes, that are now sitting on the shelves at the, the clothing conglomerate, and they're trying to figure out what to do with them. As Lou just mentioned, Adidas cut ties with Kanye West, a.k.a. Ye, or ye, whichever, last October after he made a series of anti-Semitic remarks. Obviously, that's toxic for any brand. But now you've got all that merch. What do you do with it? Adidas is telling shareholders that it has several options. What it wants to do is repurpose this stuff, which means take the Yeezy label off of it and sell it as either Adidas or something else or it could donate it to charity, or it could destroy it all. And that's not unheard of in the clothing business. Anytime they have unsold things, oftentimes it ends up in the landfill, which is not a good thing at all. If I could offer a gentle suggestion, donate all this stuff to earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria. I would wager that they wouldn't even care if there's a Yeezy label on them. They would welcome the clothes. David, that's a great idea. Yeah. Wow. Here to help. We need to make a phone call.